All right, what's happening, YouTube? Scotch Bear here again. I told you I wanted to make a video of me using the RTA and basically trying to get a, a more or less flat response. And it turns out that it's actually easier to get a flat response like 800 hertz and up because of the horns. What you're listening to right now is just a simple sign sweep. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. You guys can get an idea of where it's at. See? Anyway, the the horns are quite a bit louder, or quite a bit more, uh, I don't know, I guess energetic for lack of a better word, but their volume is such that when I play the pink noise here, I'll play it in a second, when I play the pink noise, what you'll actually see is basically like a graph that's flat almost all the way to about 1K, and then it's going to taper off and come down. Now, I have cut out quite a bit of the mid-bass inside the car, because... It just, uh, you know, most cars have a natural mid-bass hump in them, and it was really obnoxious, and it was masking a lot of detail, and it kept the stage height low, and I wanted to try to fix that. But right now, I'm going to play the pink noise, and we're going to see if we have any peaks inside the system, and we'll try to EQ those down, and I'll take you guys back there, and I'll take the uh, little screwdriver I have, which I use for adjusting my gains and everything. You can pick one of these up in, like, an eyeglass repair kit. And uh, we'll adjust the EQ and see if it makes a difference. So here we go. And keep in mind that you don't have to have this uh, this pink noise at full volume. It's okay to have it just like you know, like in between about a quarter and a half volume. But we need to keep that volume steady and not change it when we come back because it'll it'll affect the RTA and you'll be able to see it looks like it'll be higher than it was before. So here we go. Pink noise with all high bits. We're gonna leave the volume right there. Okay, I'll go ahead and stop it right there, but as you can see, there's a minute increase at about 1K, and the horns are really sensitive in between 1 and 4K, and Eric Stevens recommends you cut them like 3 to 6K in those in a couple of regions right there, like 1.2, 2, like 3.5, 4, and 6K. So I went ahead and did that, and as you can see, we've got a relatively flat response, which, uh isn't going to be ideal now you know back in the days they used to have uh, competitions where cars they would run and having a flat perfectly flat RTA response would actually win competitions the problem is with a, with a completely flat response most cars sound like ass complete ass so that's not what we're after what I wanted to do is is cut all the peaks and fill in the little valleys that I have the small ones not like not like this huge um, gap right here where you know the where the frequency response is completely different, but just to get a good baseline, you know, just something uh, relatively flat. So as you can see, we have a peak in the 60, and the you know around the the 60. I don't know, like what is that? Like about 45 to about 80, 80 hertz region. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the trunk, and we're going to tweak that a little bit. Now some of that noise is from the car, and what I found out is using using the uh, the RTA by getting the free version I'm not allowed I'm not able to calibrate it I, I can calibrate it but I can't hold it so I, I don't see the point of being able to calibrate it especially if you can't save the setting so you know we'll just go ahead and adjust that and then we'll come back and then see if it's got a you know a little bit better response but we'll adjust around um, you know 50 to 80 and then around uh, you know, just around 800 to about 1.5, and we'll see if it makes a difference, so. Okay, live from inside the trunk, and it's quite possibly one of the most compromising and uncomfortable positions I've been. <laughs> you can see my feet are barely just, just barely touching the ground right now, so what we're going to do is, as you can see, we're, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's 50, 63 and 80 hertz, so we're going to bring 63 down just a wee bit. And remember, we're probably getting a little bit of um, chatter from the car as well. 
which has got like a 63 hertz resonance so we're gonna make sure you know just tune that down a little bit and I'm gonna tune these down okay and then we're gonna go up to 1k we can see right there above that bright ass LED and we're gonna bring that down just a little bit just a little bit come up here to 1.5 as you can see it's cut nearly uh, 9 dB you see that right there now that's just due to the horns you know they need extensive EQing in between like 1.6 and about 6k so I've done quite a bit of that but um, yeah now let's go back okay, up and see we're back in the front seat and we're gonna try this again so here we go noise with all high bits. remember this is the same volume Okay, as you can tell, it's got to be the uh, it's got to be the car, which is kind of chapping my ass. But um, I did have a little frequency peak inside uh, inside around 60k or I mean 60 hertz. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the adjustments for now, and I'm going to I'm going to sorry I'm losing my train of thought here. I'm going to put up uh, another demo video, and it's just going to be. Um, and I'll attach it to this and it'll just be like an opera track and we'll see where it's at. Now ideally you want to have like a flat response to cut all you know cut all the sharpness out and then you want to basically tune it to your liking so you know I've gotten it to a point where I don't have any peaks you know like especially around like 1 or 2k you know right there and nothing like that and now basically it's just tuning it to your own likes so uh, what I'll do now is I'll take the I'll uh, turn the defeat on the EQ on, so it's basically just running straight through, and then you guys can see the change in frequency response. So hold on. Okay, we've got the EQ and defeat uh, in defeat mode, and we've got the pink noise teed up again, and we'll give her another shot and see what it sounds like. I mean, I don't even really need to leave it on that long. I mean, you guys can see the difference. It's, uh, it's pretty large. Alright, YouTube. I, uh, hope you enjoyed that little RTA video. Or should I say long-ass video. If you go to the Android app market, you can pick up that RTA analyzer, and it's free. And I also want to use the Spectrum Analyzer in another video, you know, just to see what it looks like. It'd be kind of cool. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you with uh, a little bit of opera. I know it's a little, uh a little off base but we're gonna have a couple more base videos here in a couple weeks and the shows are gonna start again so we're gonna get plenty of demos so until then this is the Scottish Bear signing out peace <laughs>